Game number one, boys, in this best out of 11, Red Alert 2 series, Sash versus Knife. Let's go. It's a show match, boys. Let's hope and see if everything's working. First map pick by Knife is Hack Freeze is over. No gems mid by Westwood Studios, I think. So top left, we have Sash, the yellow player. Bottom right, we have Knife, the red player, going as America. Sash going as yellow. Ignore the two bottom pictures, boys. No battle fortresses, no siege choppers. And we're better testing the counter again, boys. Hopefully it will work this time. It will work better. Yep, Sneer gave me the latest update, boys. So let's see, and hopefully it will work. Yo, Dazzle. Dazzle in the chat. Root is in here. Let's go. Five miners for the red player. Six for Sash. Indeed, the counter is working. Let's go. Sash did go five dogs, I believe. Yeah, five dogs. Okay, so it's looking good for the counter, boys. Sash switching over to rhinos. Six Grizzlies on the field for Knife. Both of them on double war as well. Sash doing some landscaping to put a ref down the cliff. Meanwhile, another MCV move from Knife. Yo, Jaws in the house. Let's go. VIP Jaws. Split from Sash on the right side. Tanks going in one by one. Knife is out tanking by a lot. Where's the reinforcements for Sash? Sash being out tanked by a lot here, boys, but he's down in mid. Does he have enough to hold? Sentry needs to come out soon. Sash will take this fight, but mm, uh, there's the sentry. Sentry needed. There it is. And father being pumped out by Sash, and he will hold. Triple war for the red player while moving his MCV once again. And a fourth war factory for the Soviet player. Stupid OP allies. Oh! One War Factory goes down at the top by a para drop. Sneaky para drop from Knife. Gets good value there. War Factory did go down. Here comes Sash. Straight down the middle. Sash taking the... Gets a miner on the way out. Good value there for Sash. They're almost equal in tank numbers as well. There is a defen defender's advantage here for Mr. Knife, but Sash is doing really good here, and he's able to split as well on the right side. We'll keep an eye on that. Meanwhile, MCV move from Sash as well. Split is not seen by Knife.
Miners will be moved away, but still. He's another pair up. Goes for the AFC, we'll get it. Knife going all in through mid. Not a war factory, they go down here at the back of it. Looking good for Sash. Sash looking to take game one. Meanwhile, Mirage is being built. Not a war factory goes down. Battle Lab will be targeted. MCV being targeted. And Knife is only left with one war. And game one. We'll go to Sash, boys. GG called. Defeated. Game one on Hack Freeze is over. Goes to Sash. Let's go, look vengeance. What's up? With the sub, thanks a lot for the support, bro. Much appreciated, much appreciated. Going into game number two, boys. Knife switching it up to Soviet Iraq. As we go into game number two, we are on Caverns of Siberia, boys. By Distant Q. Spotting bottom right is a Knife, the red player, and Sash at the top left. Sash sticking to Soviet Iraq. I need to think of something for that. We can see chat on the screen now, by the way. Nah, the lobby chat isn't working. The lobby chat from CNC. For some reason, it's not working on OBS. And I don't know why. I need to fix that, but... Yesterday, it was working, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I messed that up. Counter, a new version, boys, by Sneer. Thanks to Sneer, we have a new version of the counter, and it looks like it's working, boys. The dark counter is working. I might put on a terror drone counter as well. Don't have a terror drone counter yet. Miner gets droned from Knife, but he has a service depot ready. So knife did not get a target yet. Yeah, we need one. We're gonna get one. Sash trying to defend against this Terra drone, but he's not mining with these two miners because of it. Yeah, now the the minor counter is gl glitching. <laughs> Yellow only has two miners? I don't think so. Okay, so the counter on the miners doesn't work for the yellow player. He's on seven miners, not two. Finally gets a target is Mr. Knife. Yeah, the minor counter is now working. There's the service depot for Sash.
Costa Corta with a question. Yes, sir, you can send it to me if you want, bro. And if you want specific players to play, I can arrange that, boys. All, every single dime put into donations, cheers, or subs on my channel will be will be used to organize show matches and tournaments, boys. I've, I put every dime back into it, boys. But you can also let me know which players you want, and I'll try to arrange that for you. You can donate beforehand, you can let me know during or after, I don't know. And it's uh, done through PayPal, yeah. Split from, knife on the left side, gets a miner. Gets two, boom. Doing damage is knife on the left side. Sash caught sleeping, but meanwhile split on the right side. From Sash on the MCV. Knife does not see it. This MCV might go down. And it will. And it will. So a few miners trade for an MCV. And Sash is continuing in his push. We'll get a few miners here. Meanwhile, in the mid, top mid. Knife is out tanking. No sentries from Sash. All but three miners go down in Knife's base. Sash still has a few miners working. He's got 6k in the bank, building terror drones. One miner is left for knife. NG out. Who's gonna win this? Elite comes out, but it's droned. Can Sash hold? Knife is dead broke. Sash will return. Alting the war factory is knife. So no production, only a barracks left for Sash. Meanwhile, in knife's base, two war factories and a ton of drones. No miners left for both of them. Well, yeah, one for, two for uh, Sash, but none for Knife. Knife sells another war. He's dead broke. He's not, he's not getting any eco in. Snark is here, boys. Looking very good for Sash here, boys. Oh, the, the Connies did not target the drones. And now two rhinos on the field for knife. Those Connies did not do anything to the drones. Kostakura, much appreciated, bro. Yeah, let me know the details. Hit me up on Discord. Now Sash only on a thousand dollars. What is going on, Davis? 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 What is going on? Oh my god. Knife will even repair his veteran. Think this game will go to Mr. Knife. Few Tesla calls in this army. You're welcome, you're welcome. We'll wait for Sash to arrive. He calls GG. Game two will go to... 
Nice. And we're all tied up. Tour of Egypt. Will be the next pick by Sash. It is RA2. Yo, Gus. Yes, bro. We're testing out the counter on the right side. It's going to be another Soviet versus Soviet, boys. We are on Tour of Egypt for game number three. Sash versus Knife. The yellow player, Sash, will spawn on the right side and Knife will spawn. No, I'm sorry. Sash, the yellow player, will spawn on the right side and Knife at the top left. Madness, you have a new map? Let's go. Some would say slight advantage here for Sash spawning in the middle here on Tour of Egypt. This is Redler 2, boys. Redler 2, best out of 11. First to 6, two vetoes. Nobody has used the veto yet. Chat mods. We got a lot of mods in, boys. OPZ in the house. Commander, Red Commander is here. Oh, Zane is here as well. We need to get Zane back into RA2, boys. One miner gets droned from Sash. And his drone will fail while the rhinos are coming out for knife. Knife will stretch towards the gems at the bottom. Sash is all but there and he will stretch up the cliff. Save the gems for later. Nah, I think his next ref will be on the gems, though. Life with a slight lead in tank numbers, boys. There it is. The ref on the gems. Next ref will be on the cliff. Good build from Sash spawning in the middle here. Double war now from Knife. Will his eco hold while Sash goes for a ref on the cliff? Knife is going broke. Long distancing. He needs this ref ASAP. And there's the ref. He's on gems again. Both of them on five war, uh, five miners, two war factories now each. What the fuck is this build? What is this build? <laughs> this is Tanker. The build I have ever seen. Absolute garbage build. Hey, look at this mining. It's broke. It's broke. <laughs> Insufficient fun. Legendary Frank boys, Lucifer. As Knife goes on with his third War Factory, Sash is still on two for the moment. Goes Radar Tech. Might bring out a few Desolators to his army. There they are. Oh, I love it. The Deso counter is working again. I love it. Don't you just love the counter, boys? I hope it, it stays up, boys. I hope it doesn't glitch out or anything. 
Here comes Sash through mid. Nope, he will think about it and go back. Sash is stacking up, boys. Nuclear power plant is out and the IC will be built pretty soon. Wow. Knife is still on three war factories, no radar tech. And no fourth war factory yet. His eco is not... Yeah, he can go for a fourth war factory. He needs to, though. There's the IC for Sash. His eco is holding up. He's still... He's on six miners versus eight. And here's the fourth war factory for Knife. Slowly but surely, the tank numbers are increasing in Knife's favor, and he will split at the bottom as well. That's us being added to the mix. Can Sash hold here? One minute to IC. IC will go down. More incoming from Knife. Miners go down left and right. Three in total. Fourth miner will go down. Knife looking to take game number three, boys. Sash will hold for now, but more incoming. GG is called. And game three goes to Knife. Just the splits. The splits overwhelming Sash there. Montana DMZ will be the next game on the next map. Yeah, peace service. We can, uh, uh, you guys can arrange games as well. Boys, for real, if you want to organize um, a show match and you would want to donate or send bits, subscribe or whatever. The entire amount you donate will be used for a show match or different show matches, whatever you want, boys. Montana DMZ for game number four. Montana DMZ by Westwood Co uh, Studios and Excalibur. We've got the red player, knife spawning bottom left. Sash pulling top right. Yeah. Especially for S-Class players. Yeah, no problems at all, boys. Of course, Zed. If you want to play Sash, we will make it happen, boys. Sash is eager to play anyone. He's been practicing a lot on Rambo, so Sash is, is really in shape, boys. He has been drinking today, he told me. <laughs> so if he's 100% if he's in shape, that's... <laughs> well, he is, but he's drunk. <laughs> love it, boys. You gotta love it. All right, all right. Oh. 
What country am I in? We're in the Netherlands, boys, in Europe. Here comes a drone, and it gets in. We're in the Netherlands, live from the Netherlands, boys. Men Vengeance, did you miss the reunion we had with Snark and Ivor in Amsterdam? Uh, on the on my YouTube channel, you, sh you guys should check out the clips of the week. Three rhinos in Knives Base. Sash can probably take this MCV, but I don't know what he's doing. He could have. He should have. He's targeting again. Now it's late. Now it's too late. Yeah, bro, it was really fun. More incoming from Sash. He's splitting now, but oh, he's still late, boys. No ref. Oh, the para took down the ref. Sash. Oh, my goodness. And he quits. GG called. Distracted by that para drop and... Paradrop took his only ref and he was broke. Dry heat. Knife is on fire, yeah, bro. Indeed. Oh, shit. I need to press a button. Game number five. We are on dry heat, boys. Pisaris, that was you, right? Ah, oh, yeah. Thank you. Pisaris with the 25 euro donation, boys to arrange more show matches we're gonna get some ass class uh, ass <laughs> some s class players to play for pisaris boys 25 euros thanks a lot for the donation bro much appreciated and we can keep the content coming boys two oils each for the boys on dry heat sash spawning at the top we've got knife at the bottom <laughs> ass class yeah <laughs> ass class Let's go. Dry Heat Rattler 2 version, boys. Slightly different coloring on the map. The Chinese version has gems in the middle. You see wicked battles for the gems in the middle. I would love that map to be incorporated in CNC as well. Similar builds. Sash needs to get rid of a few gems here to place a ref. Not sure if he's gonna make it. Where's his second ref? He's waiting. Yeah, he's gonna place it there, boys. He did not get rid of enough gems here to place his ref. Meanwhile, Service Depot from Knife is out. He did not get drone yet, though. I don't think he got drone. Needs to get rid of these gems and place a ref. There it is. And now we'll be forced to build a service depot as well. But that shouldn't be a problem. He just placed that ref. It's not cancelling anything. There's the service depot. Counter OP. Yeah, bro. Thanks to Sneer. OP Sneer with the counter. The latest update, boys. One miner gets drone from knife at the bottom. Yeah, Sneer OP, boys. He got me the latest vo version of the counter, so... It did glitch out one time on Caverns of Siberia, but it, it's looking good still. Sash looking to harass a few miners. He comes to do
second war now from Sash. He's one miner ahead on Knife. They're equaling tank numbers. Third war factory now for Knife. Sash goes in. Two Connie's on the oil. MCV move from Sash after third war factory. I don't think Knife notices bottom left. He might lose the oil here. He might lose an oil, boys. Split from Sash. Harassing the miners. Two miners will go down. Maybe a third as well. While Knife goes in. Sash. Sentries! Sentry is out! He's continuing his push here as well! No more sentries from Sash! Drones are being built from Sash now! He's on one war factory! He saved two miners. But left knife with none. One tank is still drone. He can save it, yeah. All this time the, the MCV was here. No ref was placed. Yeah, knife is only left with a... Um, an oil for money for eco sold MCV knife not building any miners he sold the the ref as well he's got no ref no never mind huge army Sash needs to stay behind his miners. If he can stay behind his miners, he can win. He's gonna win. And he's gonna take it. Elite comes out for Sash. Drones should not matter. There's a service depot. And game number four will go to Sash, boys. Well played by Sash here. GG is called. And game number five will go to Sash. I'm sorry, game number five, yeah. Player defeated. Three, two, the score. Divide Freeze is over, will be the next map pick by Knife. Saw in the house, Red Commander Java. This is best out of 11. Tech building captured. Game number six. We are on the Vide Freeze is over. By Distant Q, CNC QM team. We've got an ally player, boys. Knife going as America spawning top right. And Sash bottom left as Soviet Iraq. Best of 11, first to six. Knife in the lead, and the counter is up, boys. Expansion will be walled off by Sash, expecting a NGIFV, maybe. 
first ref from ninth will be on the expansion top left and sash his first ref will be on the oil in his base war factory also in base Knife has played two games already as Allied, uh, Luke. He's played Allied on... Hack Freeze is over the first game. He lost that. And he's playing Allied again on the Fried Freeze is over. Rick in the house. Let's go. How do I get this overlay? Oh, you got the... I made it, bro. This is my overlay, dude. I made it and... Um, the counter overlay was made by this. I asked this to make it for me. And the counter itself is made by Sneer. And this is the latest uh, latest version. Uh, la oh my goodness, I'm sorry guys. This is the latest version in testing. It is counting the units really, yep. Yeah. It's getting the um, the numbers from the game. Battle lab out for the red player. Some small bugs, but it's working pretty well. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully when it's working 100%, Sneer will, will share it with everybody. Making Doof sweat. There's a Tanya out, Buzz. So what is he? Where is he sending the Tanya? There's nothing here to get. Maybe... No, I don't think he can get anything here. Ooh, sneaky spy. This is a RA2 Tanya boys, so you can make more of her or more of her. And you can also make uh, the um, the Tanya cannot destroy vehicles. So for those who didn't know that, the RA2 Tanya is a little bit less OP than the Yuri's Revenge Tanya. Tanya incoming. Gets a ref. Oh, might get the radar. And it goes down. Alright, two Tanya. Spy goes down. Sash was forced to sell a War Factory. Let's take a look at Knife's base. He's got on double War Factory, Battle Lab Tech, bunch of Mirages out, boys. That's a bomb being made by the Soviet player. I like these para drops on the choke points here in the mid. Sash is just gonna go in, boys. Uh, knife not reacting to this. He doesn't have enough at home, boys. Okay, he's reacting to it now. That's so bomb. Gets a few mirages. This might be over before it even begun, boys. Or purifier goes down. Dessos are there, gets another deployment. Not looking good for Knife. Battle Lab goes down, no more Mirages. And now clicking down the Mirages is Sash. In the meantime, Knife was able to get a spy in the war factory, but he's gonna trade his base. He's gonna trade that game 
for a spy. You had nothing going on here in Sash's base. It's over. 3-3. Three, three. There's Rhino's Wrecking Boys. GG is called. Player defeated. And game number six goes to Sash. And we're all tied up. 3-3 three, three to score. So Knife's allied. Losing twice against Sash. Sash winning twice on Heck Freezes Over and the Vite Freezes Over against Knife's allied. Sandstorm, Luxing, fast tech is hard on RA2 against good soap like Sash, indeed. Stronghold is vetoed by Sash. Let me try again if I can get the lobby chat, boys. It's not working for some reason. Yeah, it's empty. I don't know why. see what's going on here did they maybe update the Yuri client that it doesn't see it I'm not sure I'm not sure scores 3-3 three, three. poltergeist will be in the next map Two vetoes. Uh, Sash vetoed Stronghold and vetoed Distant Quasar. And now we are on Poltergeist. So Poltergeist will be the next map, boys. Now I'm switching it back to Soviet Iraq. Poltergeist is the map. We've got knife spawning top left, sash bottom right. For game number seven, boys, we're at the halfway point in this best out of 11. First to six. Interesting to know that Sash has wasted both of his vetoes. He's got zero vetoes left. And Knife has not used any of his vetoes yet. Drone gets in to Sash's Miner here. He has gotten a drone in as well here on the Miner from Knife at the top. There, they will both save their Miners. So 
interesting poltergeist they're going a lot of miners here Sash on double war factory while <coughs> knife went for a wrath here. Um, Sash with a slightly better build or slightly maybe a lot better. He's gonna place a wrath here and he's well. He's built well towards the ore and now knife is stretching towards this ore. He's pretty far away still. Is he gonna place an ore ref here? He should stretch. Yeah, so Sash with a with a better build, boys, in my opinion. Another uh, another war factory, and now the ref should come. This mine is gonna drive all the way back to this ref. What the fuck is this build? What is this build? Get that miner. No. It's going to drive all the way back as well. Here's the third war factory. I agree, tankers. No, it's not the best build. He's not going broke though, is he? But two miners drove all the way back to this ref. Knife is out tanking. Say what I will, knife is out tanking here. And CV move from Sash, he stopped stretching. And Sash got ball splitting at a moment like this. He's gonna split with four rhinos to the left side. Knife again does not see the split. He wants to go in through mid through this bridge. Meanwhile, Sash gets a free miner. And the tanks are going in one by one here. Knife checking up, he's broke moving those miners. No engagement in mid by knife. I see is out for the red player. It's looking pretty good for knife. Sash really needs to get these gems. And another split from Sash, while Knife decides to go all in here through mid. Sash will get two miners at the top. Knife going all in. Sash is splitting on both sides here. He can get the IC if he wants as well. MCV will run. No production will be left for... Both of them. I see is still alive. <laughs> I see will go down. Sash will group up. MCV is still alive though. <laughs> and will finally go down. Uh, questionable, questionable. Sash will eventually lose here, I think. There's still some tanks droned. Knife will take it, boys. Will he? Well, there's a lot of miners. If Sash plays this well, he might take it. Weird, weird base trades, boys. I, I have no words.
No barracks for Sash. He never. Oh, he took his own. Never mind. The lead doing so much damage. And Knife will take the lead once again, boys. Yes, Steve. Yes, we do. Thanks to OP Snark, we have a counter, boys. Not sure why Knife is afraid. Another Elite comes out. Player defeated. And Knife takes the lead. Not sure how he won that, boys. Not sure. But he did. And he's in the lead. 4-3. Divide and Conquer. Will be the next map pick for Sash. Yeah, real time, yep. Divide and Conquer by Distant Q for game number 8, boys. Map pick by Sash. He will spawn top left as Sovi Direct. And we've got the red player, Knife, spawning bottom right. Best out of 11, first to 6. And here's the counter again. Thanks to Sneer, boys. Can't say that more. Uh, can't say that enough, boys. Excuse me. Let's take a look at Knife Boys, the red player. Knife is from Pakistan, boys. Not sure how old he is. He is known by many names. Top Go Going. MZIN. Knife. Gets a minor drone from Sash, top left. Drone from Sash. Looking to find a target. And it fails, but there's a service depot, anyways, being built by Knife. Let's take a look at the yellow prayer boys. Sash from Germany. Well known old school RA2 player. He's been practicing a lot on the Chinese server Rambo. If you follow him on Twitch, you will see him playing on Rambo quite a lot. Elgon, welcome. Yes, sir. We upload the series to YouTube. Maybe not immediately, but I upload four videos per week to YouTube. And I have over 100 videos to upload still. <laughs> Let's go. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for the support earlier today. P. Cyrus with 25 euros donation to organize more show matches, boys. And we will. We will get some S-Class players to play show matches as well. Double War Factory for Sash. Now Double War Factory for Knife as well. Triple War Factory for Sash. Knife still on double. Sh 
should come out with a third soon. There it is. Third War Factory out for Knife. Well, one of his miners gets droned. He will save it, but it's very annoying though. Late game drone. MCV move from Sash. Sash is ahead by one miner, but Knife is out tanking by two rhinos, as you can see in the counter there, boys, on the right side of your screen. Four war factories now for Knife. Selling his MCV, boys. He will sell. He will not expand all the way to top right. He chose to sell his MCV. Sash is on three war factories. A lot more fodder for the red player as well. There's the ref power plant. I think Sash might go another war and then sell. He needs a war here near uh, next to his war faction, uh, next to his MCV. Okay, goes radar, barracks, and then... Oh, don't go in like that, though. Sentries needed for Sash. He's gonna hide behind the miner. The miner goes down. More sentries needed for Sash. Here's the barracks, but no Dessos yet for the yellow player. More reinforcements incoming for Knife. Where are the Dessos? The Dessos are here. The building was not primaried. MCV will go down. The Dessos were coming out of the top barracks, boys. And Knife is on match point. For getting to primary that barracks in the battle. And it is match point for Knife. Official tournament map B. I think Knife might veto this. No, he will accept. Oh, looks like Knife will accept this. Tournament map B will be the next map, boys. As we go into game number nine, match point for Knife. Official tournament map B boys by Westwood Studios. Here you have the preview of the map. Looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? It's a I, personally, I find it's a very difficult map to play, especially on Rambo where dog ng eat is allowed. You see that dog doesn't eat the ng there. It's it's not allowed and it's not able even. There is an option on CNC net that turns that off. That's off in the house. Let's go. How are you doing, my bro? Knife doing well, clicking that drone. Three miners for Sash. And the Rhinos are now coming out while the red player went zero. Sells MCV, brings in Connie's. Sash should see this. This will be an all in push from Knife. Dasso is out. The Raider is here. 
It's a good defense against these ton of uh, Connie's boys. So knife on two, two miners, war factory, MCV cell. Sash is tacking up, boys. Reinforcements being picked off by Sash. Oil does not go down yet. First oil will go down, and now the Desu will come as well. Yep, Dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts will win it without even... Dreadnought is out. Is Sash building IC? Doesn't need it. Dasso's out. It's looking very good for Sash, boys. Drone goes down. A very late War Factory cell, boys. But the Dreadnought is there, no flag. This war factory will go down easy. Sash just, just spam out Desolators. Sash would should just spam out Desolators. It's make, he's making it way too hard on himself. Sash, your, your, your Desos, bro. What are we watching? One building left, Sash! <laughs> and Sash takes it! <laughs> oh my god! Making it way too interesting, boys! <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, Sash takes it! Oh my goodness! 5 4 the score! Oh my god! I thought he was throwing that, boys! <laughs> Oh my goodness. I thought he was throwing that one. Oh, my heart, boys. My heart. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that, boys. I got excited. I'm like, but what are we watching? <laughs> And it's knife to pick the next map is gonna be Arabian Oasis. smoking we are chilling that's right boys smoking and chilling game number 10 Arabian Oasis by Sam Giddy's boys what a beautiful map this is one of my personal favorites best out of 11 first to six knife is still a match point sash needs this win to force a game number 11 he spawns top left and knife spawns bottom right
Arabian Oasis boys, what, what, what can we say about this map? The map maker is still active. He's making a new map called, I believe it's Frozen Throne. It's not ready yet. But the map maker is still active in the community. Sash able to get a minor drone. And knife is broke. This could be trouble. Okay. He's moving it. Oh, this is going to be close. Is he going to make it? This miner is going down, boys. Yep. Called it. He went broke at a very, very tough time. And his drum did not get a target yet. Sash still building miners out of the war factory. Spicy nuts, right? So, knife able to get a miner drone here, but it's not gonna be that devastating for Sash. He's got the eco. And he's got the service depot ready. And he will save the miner. He's still building miners from the war factory, boys. And um, as you can see on the counter, the miner count doesn't work for the yellow player, boys. He's not on four. He's on four, eight, nine miners before switching to rhinos. Knife is on ten miners. Eleven? No, nine. I can't count. Nine miners for knife. So ignore the miner count for Sash. He's on 10. He's on 10 and out tanking, boys. Both of them will sp will start and spam out more war factories here. Where's the fourth one for Sash? Base trade. Here's the fourth war factory top left. While Sash goes in on a miner, gets the miner kill. Might get two. Might get more boys. Might get five miner kills here. Meanwhile, top left. Knife is there, but can he get as much value as Sash? Sentries are out for Sash. Sash will continue his push on the miners here. Elite comes out for Sash. Sash will hold. Knife is on 10k. But will be left with only one miner. Oh, two miners. Sash still has six. And he is holding. Looking very good for Sash here. And Sash will work on his economy here. He's on four wars. Uh, knife is on three. He's got 8k to his name. Two miners working. But Sash is not broke either. He's going to micro his miners to the top. It's even for now, but the longer the game continues, the more it will favor, favor the yellow player. He needs to move these miners. They're mining dirt. Back in knife space, he's not building miners. And Sash again is out tanking. There is an elite in this group. Elite goes down, 
Miner comes in as father. Sash looking to take it and he will. GG, well played by the yellow player. A good trade. And we're on match point for both players, boys. It is 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> they want to extend the series, boys. Is knife accepting? Dash ones, best of the 13, and one more Vito. <laughs> Mind games. All right, it's going to be best of the 13, boys. Best of the 13. So no match point yet. They're continuing the series. Red Valley called by... Knife. So it's not match point. They're going to continue. Make it the best out of 13. So first to seven. Sounds like Sash is drinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, boys, best of the 13, it's going to be. So first to seven, somebody just mentioned that my the information of my graphics designer is not working on my stream. Let me see. Yeah, indeed. I'll check. While we wait for Sash to accept Red Valley. Red Valley is the next map pick by Knife. Here we go, boys. Game number 11. Sash versus Knife. We are on Red Valley by Instinct, boys. Beautiful map by a Chinese map maker. Instinct uh, known for making a lot of maps, boys. He's got a lot of maps in in the Rambo ladder. This is one of them we have adapted in CNC net as well. 
I believe there are more by instinct. I have to look them up. We've got Knife, the red player, spawning bottom left. Sash, the yellow player, top right. Red Valley. Pretty straightforward map, boys. Need to stretch to mid. Get your gems in mid. Is it a race towards mid? You have gems, a second patch of gems in your base. You need to get that one first. But then really stretch to mid. Get your gems. If you skip these gems, you're going to have an issue keeping up with your opponent. And later on in the game, you can move your MCV to here for the red player. Yellow player can move here, get some more gems. Yeah, it's, it's not uncommon to see five, six war factories on this map, boys. I would be surprised if these guys stay on three war factories. Service Depot has been built by Sash, but I don't think his miners got droned. And same thing for Knife. This is just in their build. Building a service depot. They're not gonna wait till a miner gets droned to build a service depot anymore. Double war from the yellow player. MCV move from Knife to get to the mid even quicker here. He's not stretching like Sash. But the issue with that is that he's only on one war. And by this time, I think Sash is already building a third war or war. And then maybe a ref. Is he building a third war? Maybe not. But knowing Sash, I think he might go third war and then ref. And the third war is in the back. I, I don't know about that. I think his third war should have been here. And then just build a ref on the gems. But Sash has different plans here. He's stretching to the back now. Long distancing the gems. His eco is doing very well. Getting these gems dump. And now, only now does Knife has a double war. Ref at the back, MCV move from Sash. And here's the third war from Knife. So all of the gems are gone for Sash. He's gonna build a ref here. Knife's eco is doing very well here. He sold the ref here. I don't know why. He's moving th those three miners. Might have been a mistake. Radar out for Sash. Four war factories for Knife. That's the latest being added to Sash's army here. Base trade. MCV War Factory goes down from Knife. Sash is left with one War Factory. There's still a War Factory at the bottom for Knife. Oh, 
on the right side. A lot of tanks, but Sash should just spam out Dessos and he should be fine, right? Tesla troop is being made. Huge Desso deployment. Elite comes out for Sash. And Sash will take it, boys. On Red Valley. Well played. Just the radar and the Desso making the difference here. And it's 6 5 to Sash. <coughs> and he is on match point. These guys like trading bases indeed. The big difference for Sash, he had the radar up, he had the desolators to add to the mix. So Sash, for the first time since the beginning of the show match, boys, he's in the lead. Only on the first game, he's, he was in the lead 1-0. Ever since, he was trailing knife. And now he's in the lead again, and he's on match point. The game is, the series is now 6-5, the score. It's knife to pick the next map. That's what I'm saying. Sash, this is the only the second time in the series that he's got the lead. Sa Sash took game one, he was in the lead 1-0. And ever since, he was trailing knife. Knife was in the lead the entire series, except for the, these two moments. You know what I am saying? Stardusk. Will Sash accept Stardusk? Looks like it. Hold me, hold with me, dude. <laughs> Game number 12, boys. We are on Stardusk. By Wave Pie and Ravage, Stardust, boys. Different coloring, different tech. We've got the service depot, what's it called? Tech outpost on both sides and an oil near the base. Players will get both. Not that this is an OP tech, just for the expansion to get more gems. In Year's Avenge, this is a tech power plant. A power plant tech. Uh, Knife needs to get his outpost. Sander in the house, coming to support his boy, Sash. Lunax in the house. Sehr good, sehr good. How about you, Mr. Sander?
Long distance these gems is Sash. I like it. He needs a ref here, does he? He does. Oh, he's gonna put another ref there. Interesting strat. Double War Factory for Mr. Knife, though. <laughs> Mr. Super in the house. From the land of the pyramids. Let's go. I like this from Sash a lot. Getting these gems, these faraway gems with a lot of miners. He's on double war now. He's gonna get a ref here and just spam out the war factories, surely. Drone fails though. So Sash one miner ahead and out tanking. Triple war now from the red player. Sash not on triple war yet. Sash sees or does not see the split, but will force knife to return. Oh, I think knife should have just continued. But there's not much to get here anyway. So Sash is in top left. He will chase these miners. Gets a minor kill. Both of them go down and he will pull out. Sash in the driver's seat here. He's on. Five wars. Is he? Yeah, five, no, four. I'm sorry, four wars. There's a split from Sash. No, they will return. Knife is here on the left side. Can Knife get some value? MCV snipe. He's not targeting the MCV. He could have gotten it. He will return for it. And now we'll get... Now to force the cell. So... Huge value there for Knife, but he's that broke. You should get this board. There's only one miner here. Yep. And now Sash going all in. Ooh, the split. Sash not keeping up with the splits. Sash going for a trade. Bringing out the drone. He's only on one war. Zero wars. Why is... Why is Knife going back? Knife should end. Oh, Knife should have ended. But I don't think Sash has enough anyways. Still one war factory for the red player. He has no miners again. Oh, wow. Um, a lot of miners here. Don't tell me Sash is gonna take it. Oh, wow. Picking up the miners. Oh, boys. Two buildings left. Going for the war factory snipe. Two buildings. All oh, think the ref. He will not get it. One building left. First is three buildings. How many tanks are on the field? 11 for Sash. 16 for... 16 for... Knife. 
But Sash, did he sell his barracks? Did he sell his barracks? I thought he had a barracks, boys. Didn't he have a barracks? Didn't Sash had a barracks, boys? I'm not sure. Sash can just alt and win, right? Can he? Mine is coming in the mix. Okay, let's keep an eye on this, boys. One Tesla trooper. We're going to stay here. Top left is where the action is going to happen eventually. Mine is coming in as well. YOLO ALT, yeah. Elite comes out! Sash will take it, boys! Oh my goodness. And it's all over Sash, boys. With the TC, going for the ref kill, and it's all over. What a series. Wow. GG's. Oh, wow. 7-5, the final score. Predictions have been paid out. Thank you. What a crazy, crazy series. <laughs> yeah, he was down 5-3. And he took it 7-5. Well said, Zed. Ah, Pat is in the chat, boys. The twin brother of Sash is in the chat. Let's go. Pat is here. Oh, Sash returned as well. Sash is here as well. Let's go. The German destroyers. Oh, my goodness. But well played by Knife, though. He did much better than I expected. For Deutschland. Let's have a quick look at the predictions. What were they, boys? 82% on Sash, 18% on Knife. Twist chat was right, even though it was really close. 